All right, guys, so we're continuing this one uh, with Project 4, which is called uh, HFC Employees. So please make sure you go ahead and download a copy of that. And it looks like it's just one worksheet here. And it doesn't look like much, but we're going to do quite a bit here. Add the word fitness as the document property, uh, document title property of the document. So um, properties are under the file tab. And we're going to say show all properties. And you're going to see up here that we have a title. And it says it wants fitness. Okay. And number 23, use an Excel feature to copy the formula in cell F4 so that it fills cell F5 through F10. So we're going to hit the back arrow. Uh, it's talking about this formula right here. We do have a formula in this cell, and we're going to go ahead and pull it down. <laughs> That's my alarm right there. If you can't, Brittany everywhere. Brittany. Brittany. Brittany everywhere. Okay. Uh, pull that formula down. Um, and that's what they want. So where am I? In cell B12. Use a function to get the average of the cells E4 to E10 that have a greater value than zero. All right. <clears throat> In cell B12. This is called an average if. I'm going to go to the formulas tab. And under logical. Uh, no, I'm sorry. It's statistical. Under more functions statistical, you'll see average if. All right, and the range, we're going to say if, let's see, let's read it again. If the values are greater than zero, they want you to average it out, all right, from E4 to E10. So we're going to say E4 to E10, and then the criteria is going to be greater than zero. And just say okay. All right, and our average is 81.225. Make your copy of the employee's worksheet and put it to the right of the employee's worksheet. All right. Since there's only one worksheet in here, we don't really have a choice but to put it to the right. We're going to say move or copy. Pop up window. Make sure you click on create a copy. And then it doesn't really matter here, but usually if it says move it to the end of the worksheet or something like that, I say move to end. And then OK. And that's it. And then go back to the employee's worksheet for the rest of this because this is technically the copy of employees and that makes a difference on the test. All right. Make sure you pay attention to what worksheet you should always be on on this exam. Number 26, add the fitness JPEG from the pictures folder to the right of the fitness center uh, title on the employee's worksheet. So over here, they just want me to insert a picture somewhere over here. All right, and I downloaded that picture. So I'm going to say insert picture. I'm going to try to find fitness. I think I put it on my desktop or something like that. Or it's called exercise. I'm sorry, not fitness. And I'll have to correct that. And go ahead and insert it. It's really, really large. And you're more than welcome to uh, shrink it down. I know I'm going to a little bit. You don't have to, but uh, it's a pretty large picture. And uh, as far as positioning goes, it just says to the right of the title. So as long as it's over here somewhere, it doesn't really matter where you drop that picture. All right. Um, on the employee's worksheet, configure A3 to F3 to automatically wrap the text. All right, so A3 to F3, and we can go over here and just say wrap text. All right. On the employee's worksheet, create a clustered column chart that displays the employee names and hours. All right, so I know it's only asking me to display a couple of things, but I go ahead and select everything, and then I go ahead and say insert, and over here I'm going to say clustered column chart. It just wants a 2D clustered column chart, which is this one right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and right click on it and say select data. And go ahead and uncheck everything here except for hours, because it just wants me to show employees and hours. And it should look like this. And then go ahead and position the chart somewhere below your data and drop it. All right. And that's all you have to do there. Um, on the employees worksheet, convert, convert cells A3 to F10 to a table with headers, apply the green table style light 14. All right, so A3 to F10, same cell range that we had selected. We're gonna say format as table, all right? And it wants us to do, um, green table style light 14. That's the one right there. On the employee's worksheet, remove the row that contains Clark Wendell data. All right, so I'm gonna actually Instead of me click, uh, clicking on the row, I'm going to select the data and right click and say delete. All right. There is a difference. Um, sorry. 
table row. There is a difference between selecting the entire row and selecting a little piece of a table, all right? If I had some text out here, it would have deleted that text if I had selected the entire row. Um, on the employee's worksheet, apply chart style 7. Uh, so here's our chart, chart style 7. So under the design tab, we're going to find um, style 7 and monochromatic palette 6. All right, so style 7. and monochromatic, monochromatic palette 6. All right, so under monochromatic, we'll see palette 6. That's 5, that's 6, the green one. All right, and that's it. Let's see. Number 32. Oh, that's it for this little section. That's it for part 4. In part 5, we're going to be working with a file called Kesherlin Car Rental Files. All right, but that's it for this little one.